Boy, do we have a great show in store for you guys today. Here to help us journey through the beginnings of a wonderful local artist here in Jacksonville, Florida. We have the wonderful <laughs> and absolutely talented maternity and newborn photographer of Carolinis Studios. Please say hello to Carolinis Woolets, also known as Carol, also known as Mrs. C. Thank <laughs> you. Hi. Hi. How are you? I just shook this and it, if it was coffee, it would have been on me. That was uh, bad. I'm so sorry. But oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. How, How are, are you? you? I'm doing great. You look absolutely lovely. As do you. I'm so happy you're here <laughs> with us today. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. So like I said, we want to journey through your beginnings. I know mm. that you're very, very talented, but every, how do you put it? Final piece had its rough drafts. So I would like to know the beginnings of your story. So let's just start. What was, what was your education? behind behind your photography so let, let's just preface this by saying there were many many rough drafts to this oh. one <laughs> but i began my art education at douglas anderson um, high school here in jacksonville florida one of the renowned art schools in the nation so i feel very proud and privileged to have been there um, and that's where i started out my journey as an artist and photographer i did both um painting and photography there Ooh, now mm -mm, those days <laughs> those days were different than what we have now because we were in the ages of dark room okay i'm not trying to reveal my age here i'm still really young you guys <laughs> yes so um yeah i i started out more so in the painting realm than in photography once i got out of um Douglas Anderson, because okay. I was a little intimidated by the new technology of digital. Would you consider yourself tech savvy? So, like, yes and no. So ah. we, I am a millennial. So, but I, but I'm also part of the exennial group. So, which means I did um, have a lot of my life in analog, and mm -hmm. now also a lot of digital. Okay. So, yeah, I wasn't necessarily. Um, intimidated by technology because I was always around technology, mm -hmm. but I'm a perfectionist <laughs> and it got to be right. Okay. I have always felt comfortable using my hands and you know, sometimes that little gap between your fingertips and the computer screen mm -hmm. just intimidated me. I could see that. It kind of makes me think of doctors. They use certain tools, but it's not their hands necessarily to mm -hmm. do the job. So it's like, you got to learn how to use this tool in order to yeah, execute always what wonder. your hands used to do. Exactly. Especially these doctors now that do surgery through uh, oh, yeah, the, yeah. Um, uh, those um, mechanical fingers. Yeah. yeah. No, it's just like that. Yeah. Except now you got like this <laughs> lock in front of you and you're touching dials and whatnot to get what it is that you want. Yes, so absolutely. Going from painting and then merging over to photography. How did that go? Or what was that? So I never, like? I never left photography. Photography has always been with me. It's just, you know, building a business of photography, it takes some time and it's a journey. A lot of photographers out there are part-time photographers, hobby photographers. It's out there and building your business takes time. Uh, so while I've always done it, I never thought that it would be what it is today. Do they seem like two separate things as far as like the, the art of photography versus the business of photography? Do the worlds feel like they mesh for real? So I think there is a point at which it coalesces and there becomes you go with them a... Turn there you go with them turn That's your dictionary, your mental dictionary. She's good at this. I'm going to let you know. You'll find multiples. Yes. There is there is a point in which it comes together. And that point is magical because there's a synergy created by the knowledge of art and the knowledge of business, which, by the way, was my double major in marketing. Um, right. right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So as uh, far as the business of photography, where did you start? And then... Of course, now we're like here. So um, in terms of the business of photography, initially I did all of it as hobby. And then um, actually it was one of my 
close best friends who encouraged me along with her. We started a business together. Shout out, best friend. Yes, shout out. You are instrumental in creating what it is today that I, I have here at Carolina Studios. And I am so grateful for your continued support all these years. She helped plant the seed. She we sure did. It. And together we started out um, doing all sorts of sessions, family sessions, and, you know, um, all different things in to the point that we started doing Christmas mini sessions. Mm, and, that's, and Christmas is coming up. Oh, we'll definitely touch that. That's where it blew up. And we started really utilizing the studio. Mm. And to me, the studio felt more like the canvas that I was used to in painting because... What do you mean exactly by the studio? The studio of your home or like like a, like a, a outsourced studio? So initially, my studio was in my home. I had... Uh, a separate area in my home that I was able to utilize as a studio, thankfully. And basically I would set up my backdrop, set up my lighting. It, it became a place for me to create a mm -hmm. canvas where you design your set and you execute and you play around with lights and you figure out what looks amazing. And I had a blast with that and it, it's just exploded ever since then. And I've continued doing it until the point that I, I ran out of space in my home. And I'm like, you know what? We need something bigger. We need to keep going. And that's exactly what we did here at Carolina Studios. Oh, wow. OK, so when it came to finding this specific establishment, what were the pros that you saw with why it must be this space for where I, mm. I lay down my roots? So something that... You may not have known, but we get exclusive. <laughs> Ever since I was in college, I had this vision of creating a collaborative artist space mm. where artists can come together and create. Because I always found it very hard to, A, do any sort of creation in a dorm room, okay? Mm. Oh, in yes. a shared too living small, room, in small. anywhere. You needed a space yeah. to do things, to store your material supplies, and also to come together with other artists that can help you to really um, band your, your, your thoughts and, and develop the ideas into something greater. Mm. And so when we saw this building, we saw that opportunity to create more of a collaborative shared space where we can rent out to other uh, photographers who might be needing space as well. Okay. And so, I, you know, it was to me, it was just like... <laughs> like this fit all the pieces that we mm -hmm. need. Okay. Okay, so from where... I, I've seen a couple, like, mm -hmm. uh, I know it's in your highlights, uh, your page's highlights of the behind scenes of, like, where the studio and, like, what it looks like right now is not what it looked like back then. Like, it looked like... There's been an evolution, y'all. <laughs> evolution. It started, um, this was a church, okay? So this is a, a very different space than what it used to be before. She we've said we done, build walls, we put up doors. It's everything. We've demolished um, areas that used to be there mm -hmm. now. Uh, and we redivided the spaces we've created. And even to this day, it continues evolving because, you know, art is an evolution. It's a process and it, you got to continue creating um, otherwise, you become irrelevant. So, And I am so happy you said that because we are <laughs> definitely going to be evolving here. This is just part one of journeying through the beginnings. And I hope that you guys thoroughly enjoyed what has been shared today. So please feel free to come back again for Creators Grind with Carolyn Ismoulet, also <laughs> known as Carol, also known as Mrs. C. That's all we got for today. Thank you. It was a pleasure.